<clears throat> All right, internet, here we are in the car at a stoplight. I'm starting a video, allegedly, in a car at a stoplight, because I'm pretty sure recording while driving is probably not legal. But anyhow, so accountability. You are the person who's accountable to yourself. You are the person who's accountable to everyone around you. Looking to other people to enforce your desire for accountability is the wrong thing to do because other people have their own shit they have to worry about. When you get a trainer, when you get a coach, they can't keep you accountable all day every day. Accountability starts with you, accountability ends with you. First thing in the morning, if you lie to yourself and say, I'm gonna get up and go to the gym, and then you cancel your appointment, or you don't go to the gym, well, that's, that's on you. You're the one who broke the promise to yourself to get up and go to the gym. You're the one who made the bad food choices. You're the one who chose to be lazy. So accountability starts with you, it ends with you. Blaming your spouse or your kids or your significant other about your, you know, your issues or your loss of success, that's, that's not okay. So you're in charge of your accountability. You're in charge of your actions. You're in charge of what goes in your mouth and what you do to your body. It's your body, it's your choice. You get to do whatever it is you wanna do whenever you wanna do it. But it's nobody else's fault that you didn't get the results that you wanted to get because of the work that you didn't do. And it's no one's fault that your trainer or your workout partner or your nutrition coach or your life coach or whatever doesn't call you 15 times throughout the day to make sure that you're not doing bad things. That's on you. Accountability starts with you and ends with you. Blaming other people for your lack of accountability and your lack of dedication is the first sign that you're going to fail at whatever your goal is. If you wake up in the morning and you're like, eh, I'm not gonna go to the gym because my trainer doesn't hold me accountable. No, the trainer holds you accountable. Your gym partner holds you accountable. But if it's okay for you to quit on you, why are we going to pick on the fact that you're not there? Well, okay, it is what it is. I can't change the fact that you decided to quit on you today. It doesn't matter. If your lifting partner is used to you canceling half the time, when you text them first thing in the morning, they probably just assume you're gonna cancel. So your accountability is based on you. Don't go to other people and say, I need to be held accountable because they're not going to, especially if you're asking them to do it for free. You know, your friends may love you, your family may love you, but they have stuff going on. They're not gonna make sure you get up and go to the gym in the morning. Some of them may. Every now and then you're gonna see that one friend who's gonna be like, yeah, I'm with you all the way. But if you cancel on them enough times, even they'll be out. So bottom line, accountability is all about you. And well, that's really it. All about you.